it is really astonishing to me to watch Republicans who incited the very insurrection that took place at the Capitol all of a sudden feign outrage at the sight of violence. People like Ted Cruz, Josh Hawley, you don't get to condemn violence now after you started all of this. You directly incited an insurrection. You told Donald Trump's cultist, delusional base that the election was stolen from them. So you worked them into a frenzy. You made them believe that the right course of action, of course, to save democracy is to storm the Capitol and to stop Joe Biden, an illegitimate president, from being sworn in. You did all of this. You incited the violence that you're now denouncing. So now it's funny to watch them, you know, sit there with their surprised Pikachu faces as if they didn't start this. Ted Cruz put out this statement. The attack at the Capitol was a despicable act of terrorism and a shocking assault on our democratic system. We must come together and put this anger and division behind us. We must, and I am confident we will, have a peaceful and orderly transition of power. My full statement, which we're not going to read. But it's funny, you're calling for an orderly and peaceful transition of power, that already has failed. We're not seeing an orderly and peaceful transition of power. We're seeing violence because you told delusional people that the election was stolen from them. In fact, in the Senate, you were leading the charge, Ted. You were leading the charge. So you don't get to try to save face now and pretend as if you weren't responsible. The four individuals who were killed storming the Capitol, their blood is on your hands. But no, he condemns violence. And what they did was terrorism, that he's not responsible for inciting in any way, shape, or form. Let me ask you this, Ted. If you condemn the violence that we saw, uh, why did you say this a couple of days prior? Stand shoulder to shoulder with you as we defend the United States of America, as we defend our Constitution, as we defend our freedom, and we will not go quietly into the night. We will defend liberty in the future and we are going to win that you is that you saying we will not go silently into the night like it's just shocking to me like they say this as if nobody's going to call them out on their bullshit ted cruz knows exactly what he's doing i do think that there are republicans elected republicans who believe the election was stolen from donald trump because a lot of them are as idiotic as donald trump albeit Probably not as delusional, not as bad, but Ted Cruz is smart enough to know what he's doing. This is an educated man. He knows exactly what he's doing. He knows that if he doesn't pander to Donald Trump's base, then it's going to be very difficult for him to become president one day. So if you have political ambitions, if you're Josh Hawley or Ted Cruz, you know in order to win a Republican Party primary, you have to capture Donald Trump's base. This is what you're doing. And you thought that sacrificing democracy, threatening democracy... By pandering to delusional people, a cult is worthwhile, all for your political ambitions. Well, I say to hell with that, and there has to be consequences for the actions of Republicans who incited a literal insurrection. This was a coup attempt, and it was a failed one, it was a laughable one, but nonetheless, it's still a serious attack on our democracy. What Ted Cruz did by playing along to Donald Trump, he was knowingly complicit in inciting an insurrection and thankfully individuals within the squad are calling them out and calling for accountability so aoc tweeted out senator cruz you must accept responsibility for how your craven self-serving actions contributed to the deaths of four people yesterday and how you fundraised off this riot both you and senator holly must resign if you do not the senate should move for your expulsion he then responded to her from the account that i believe he liked porn on uh and he tried to change the subject basically saying aoc you are a liar leading a debate in the senate on ensuring election integrity is doing our jobs and it's in no way responsible this is bullshit for the despicable terrorists who attacked the capitol yesterday and sorry i ain't going anywhere when you and your socialist buddies try to massively raise taxes when you try to pass the green new deal and destroy millions of jobs when you push for amnesty when you try to pack the supreme court with activists to undermine our constitutional rights i will fight that every step and stand with the people what a fucking lying scumbag what a lying scumbag packing the supreme court is exactly what the republican party has done over the last couple of years you stole two supreme court justices so i'm not even gonna answer to that like respond to what he's saying because he's trying to deflect he's trying to change the subject and his answer in pandering to donald trump trying to make them uh, his supporters believe that the election was stolen his response is oh well you know i'm just looking out for election integrity look if you're an election integrity activist ted cruz which we know you're not then what you push for is automatic uh recounts 
if votes are within a certain margin. Automatic audits at the county level. If you're an election integrity activist, you push for universal suffrage. But what you did, that wasn't you looking out for the integrity of our democracy and elections. What you did was knowingly lie about the election being stolen in a pathetic attempt to pander to Donald Trump's sycophantic base. You're a traitor, and you just encouraged seditious behavior, and we're not going to forget this. But it's not just Ted Cruz. So I don't want to only focus on Ted Cruz, even though he was kind of the ringleader in the Senate because he really wants to prove to Trump's base that he should be the heir to Trump's throne. But it's also individuals like Josh Hawley and also more than 100 Republicans who were elected to the House of Representatives. And the New York Times actually posted all of their faces. These 147 Republicans who were elected came out against democracy, and this was after a group of far-right insurrectionists violently staged a coup. Look at their faces. Soak this in. Do any of these scumbags represent you? Because if so, they need to be out. And in spite of their pseudo-patriotism and flag-humping, these Republicans are traitors. They're not patriots. They are seditious traitors who rejected American democracy. And there needs to be consequences for their actions. This is the effort they supported. Terrorists openly agitating for a civil war, wearing merch, broadcasting their intent to start a civil war, which would kill thousands of Americans, if not millions. And these are traitors who brought a racist Confederate flag into the Capitol. These are literal Nazis wearing Camp Auschwitz shirts and 6M WE shirts, which means 6 million Jews wasn't enough. These are the people who these Republicans emboldened and supported. And it turns out, in addition to the pipe bombs that were found, uh, along with the man who had zip ties, presumably because he wanted to take hostages, one person actually showed up with 11 Molotov cocktails that were ready to go, according to the Justice Department. This is who those 147 Republicans supported and emboldened yesterday. After everything that they saw yesterday, those Republicans still chose to oppose the certification of a free and fair election. They incited this behavior. Let's, let's be very clear about that. They incited this. Because when you tell folks that democracy is in trouble and an election was stolen, delusional people are going to respond accordingly. They're going to believe you. You have influence. You're persuasive to the Republican base. So when you tell them democracy was stolen from you, they're going to respond in a way that they believe is proportional. They're going to storm the Capitol and try to save democracy. You did this. And after they saw all of this take place, all of their lives were endangered by extremists, they still chose to go along with this scam, pretend as if the election was stolen. It's just... It's shocking. So there has to be consequences. They have to be held accountable, which is why I fully support the effort by Cori Bush to get them expelled from Congress. Because if you don't support democracy, then you have no business serving in a democratic body. There's lots of people who would love to take your spot and actually fight for your constituents. So Cori Bush tweeted this out. I believe the Republican members of Congress who have incited this domestic terror attack through their attempts to overturn the election must face consequences. They have broken their sacred oath of office. I will be introducing a resolution calling for their expulsion. Now, in an interview with the press, she explained why this is necessary. And I think the obvious thing that you do. The fact that someone lost their life today, that blood is on Donald Trump's hands and every Republican Congress person that is supporting this. People came into this Capitol building, broke through, broke uh, windows and all of that, came in, went into Congress members' offices, all in an attempt to attack our democracy. That life, that woman's life, no matter who she was, no matter what side she was on, her life is gone. There has to be consequences. And so that's why we introduced a resolution to say so. Those Republican members of Congress must go. And she is 100% right, and I'm glad that she is holding them accountable. The reason why the Republican Party has shifted so far to the right is because there's been no check on them. Whenever they shift to the right, the Democratic Party 
at the aggregate level, it shifts to the right as well. It follows them to the right. And some imbeciles like Chris Coons and Joe Manchin are saying, well, after we saw far-right extremists storm the Capitol, now is the time to really take them seriously. Now is the time for bipartisanship. This party has proven to you time and again that they don't care about bipartisanship. They've proven to you that they don't even care about democracy. I mean, the Republican Party has always rejected democracy with voter suppression efforts and whatnot. But now they couldn't be more brazen. Now is the time when you marginalize them and you get them expelled from Congress because this is what they instigated. Had it not been for their lies about the election being stolen, this wouldn't have been. Uh, this wouldn't have happened. So they've got to be expelled. Uh, and I'm glad that individuals like AOC, Mondaire Jones, Marie Newman, Cory Bush are standing up. And I'm actually encouraged to see individuals like Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi, of all people who we've had to fight to hold Trump accountable, call on Mike Pence to invoke the 25th Amendment. Now, I don't think that that's actually going to bear out. I hope it does. There's reports that they were uh, Trump's cabinet was meeting to talk about this. But I think an easier solution, if you want to remove him quickly, would be impeachment. But, I mean, he's going to be gone in a few weeks. So all of this could be for nothing. But still, even if Trump is out and he's not impeached or we don't invoke the 25th Amendment, there's still more than 100 Republicans, 147 to be exact, that are traitors. That absolutely are responsible for fomenting an insurrection and they have to be held accountable. They have to be expelled from Congress because if they don't, then this is going to happen again and the party is going to continue to shift to the right and the base will become more and more extreme as a result. The Biden crime family steals this election. We want our freedom for the world. Give us our freedom, Joe Biden. Joe Biden is covering up this election. He's stealing it. Feeling it!